Yup, that's right folks, you guessed it. This is going to be the top 10 most important moments of the Vietnam War. Now for number 10 on my list, we have the Battle of the Aya Drang Valley. The Aya Drang Valley was one of the first major battles of the Vietnam War. Taking place in 1965, the battle was fought at LZ X-Ray between the United States 1st Air Cavalry Unit and the People's Army of Vietnam. The battle was important because it allowed the United States to test out and learn how to use new helicopter tactics using the UH-1 helicopter. Number 9 on my list is the Battle of Quezon. The Battle of Quezon could have possibly been one of the longest battles of the war stretching from January 21st to July 9th, 1968. The United States Marine Corps went up against PAVN soldiers who attacked the base with rockets, mortars, and even 12 Soviet-made tanks. The United States began withdrawal from Quezon on July 21st, 1968. Number 8 on my list is the Battle of Hue. The Battle of Hue was what many call the deadliest battle of the war. About 2400 PAVN soldiers were killed and about 668 southern forces were killed. Hue is one of the, was one of the strategic points in the NVA's plan to take over Vietnam during the Tet Offensive. Now for number 7, we have Operation Linebacker. Operation Linebacker was the continuous bombing of North Vietnam on certain points. The U.S. specifically targeted oil reserves, bridges, railways, and the NVA's air defense system. The casualties of this operation were about 144 aircraft lost on the side of the southern forces and about 651 aircraft lost on the side of the PAVN. For number 6, we have Hamburger Hill. The 10-day battle taking place from the 10th of May to the 20th, 1969, was fought by the U.S. and Arvin forces against the PAVN. 500 tons of ordnance were dropped on Hill 937, and the southern forces took 103 casualties while the PAV PAVN took anywhere from 630 to 1,600. For number 5, we have the Tet Offensive. While this isn't a battle, it is a series of battles that took place during the Tet Holiday in 1968. The VC attacked major cities like Saigon and U.S. bases like Phu Bai and Chu Lai. The total losses for the southern forces were about 45,000, and the PAVN took 75,000 plus. For number four, we have the Gulf of Tonkin incident. This was the spark of U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War. On August 2, 1964, the USS Maddox came into contact with NVA torpedo boats. This incident caused the U.S. to respond and practically start the Vietnam War. Now for number three, we have the Battle of Juan Lac. This battle was fought between Arvin and PAVN forces. This was one of the last major battles that came before the fall of Saigon in April 1975. For number two, we have the Battle of Fire Support Base Ripcord. This was a 23-day battle between the USMC and PAVN forces in 1969. This is considered one of the last major battles between the US and North Vietnamese Army in the war. Now finally, for number one, we have the Fall of Saigon. On April 30th, 1975, Arvin forces held the last major city in South Vietnam, Saigon. The US had fully withdrawn its troops two years earlier. The battle was about 120,000 PAVN and VC against 31,000 Arvin troops. The U.S. helped evacuate refugees and American ambassadors. The NVA and VC captured Saigon and the war was officially over.